Hello everyone, my name is October Raven, and I welcome you once again to City of Heroes. We just, there we go. Okay, so, <clears throat> where we left off with Sigma Girl before, she was starting to uh, do some work in the, where is my chat? I need to really fix this so I can do this every time. Okay, so. So, where we left off, Humor Girl, once again, she was doing some good old saving the day in King's Row. We're going to continue with that. We're going to work with Vic... No, we're going to work with Shauna Sockwell. Shauna got first. Alright, so King's Row is as here as her. Girl, ever since Galaxy City got pushed, the refugees have been flocking to King's Row, hoping they can return home soon. Fortunately, a lot of them are on the street with nowhere to go, and that's made them easy pickings for gangs like the Skulls. I've been keeping tabs on the Skulls for some time. My new cyber off the road, I'm telling you, it looks like we're about to have an epidemic of super severity and addicts at the PPD, where someone can't crack down. King's Road need our help. So let's uh, learn a little bit about Sean before we continue. She's an independent journalist. Uh, Tron 1989 says, what in the world? Um, this is City of Heroes. <laughs> I'm not sure what you mean by that. Anyway, so Shauna Sockwell is an independent journalist who hosted online news like did a blog called Raw for the Row. Her journalism is recently tinted towards refugees in King's Row. Uh, Tron89 says, I don't know, I just like to say it. Okay, fair enough. We all have our catchphrases. Um, yeah. So, <laughs> so uh, recently traded for King's Row for Galaxy City and the rise of superiority and use of the skulls and foods over her city of King's Row. Okay, so. We haven't actually got the mission yet, so let's do that. Alright, so. Parody has been on the streets of King's Row for years now. But, with all the refugees flooding into King's Row, the mission to Galaxy City, the Skulls have really started to push their product. The number of Parody related crimes is estimated. The PPD, that's the Paradox Police Department, doesn't seem to have enough manpower to put a stop to it. Only so much good can be done by writing about this. It's time someone took action. We help we shine, uh, shine a light in all the school's activities here in King's Row? Maybe together we can put a stop all about this. Okay, so let's put a stop to the skulls. Great, the city is sick, human girl, and without, that was as, as with any illness, bleh. I turned to my good friend Guinevere Sanders over at Crown Memorial Hospital for the diagnosis of the cause. Guinevere, not Guinevere. Uh, has indicated that the hospital's detox wards are reaching maximum occupancy. Superior genetics are being brought off to the streets in droves. And from what she said, they're suffering from pretty extreme shades of withdrawal. She said that if I could find a hero to help, then she should have more information for her to act on. And that makes us our hero of the day. So as I mentioned before, um, Superidine does uh, have a lot of Influences in other parts of the low game, uh, the low game storylines, especially with a group called the Trolls, who are basically super crazy severity addicts. And uh, thanks for the follow, Tron. Uh, okay, so all right, so we're talking to uh, Genevieve Sanders, uh, Hammer Girl. Shauna called you, called me to let you know you're on our way. Thanks for agreeing to help out. More Sparadine actings are showing up to the hospital every day. Well, they are in bad shape. From what I've gathered, the Skulls are forcibly addicting people to the drug. You know, girl, a lot of these people have lost everything in Galaxy City. They've turned to theft unless they react in order to pay for the next fix. Either they end up arrested here or in the morgue. Sorry, no, it's just frustrating. I came here for information in order to solve this problem. 
That's a this is to be go on added. According to some of my recovering patients, the skulls have a dog trained in Industrial Avenue. People go there to buy the superiority. If the, you can hit the skulls in the street, it's hard enough. They might just spill the beans on who's running the show and exactly where that drug den is located. So, that's our uh, briefing. We're gonna go hunt and box skulls for those soldiers. Get our shield out. Skulls in this area should be no problem. Okay. Just need a few more. That last mob should do it. See if we got a clue. Okay. So our inquiries on the street have yielded, yielded a name, Toothbreaker Jones. Where it is with a bunch of bad apples that make up the skulls, he's the most rotten. Maybe he's got a superdean den in Industrial Avenue. It's time to pay him a visit. address of his hideout. Oh. Lots of people are getting out now that they see something's happening. Some of them are kind of just stuck standing in line. Up oh, there she goes. <laughs> Took you a while, kid. She really wanted that security. Oh, now those skulls are realizing that something's amiss. Breaker Jones before Rage Meter gets too far up oh, there we go. There's a good sticker. Yeah, it seems I look like Hema Girl. Well, yeah. I do look like a lot like Hema Girl because I am Hema Girl. 
They're not at all concerned. Breaker Jones. Broken Jones. Yeah. Bet he felt that. Alright, so let's let, let Shauna know that the deed's been done. Wow, that's gonna make an amazing story. Heber girl takes down Superiority Den and busts leader, saves innocence from the skulls. Unfortunately, Joan. Jones is just one of the several pushers in the area. Taking him down will put a stent in the Skulls' profit margin, but I have a feeling that now that you've pushed the Skulls, they're going to shove back. Watch yourself out there, they'll be gunning for you. No, we're not done with them. You mentioned that Jones was talking to someone else about on the phone about a shipment. I've heard, the, the, uh, blah, 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 blah. I've heard about the Skulls expecting a big shipment from one of my sources. I'm going to talk to her and see if I can get some details. In the meantime, Genevieve called. She says she has some information about where more superior deep nets can be located. Talk to your source. I'll handle the Skulls. The Skulls are cold-blooded killers, here, my girl. Remember that when you're dealing with them. They're more than just nihilists. They actually believe they can conquer death by becoming one with it. Conquering death! Becoming one with it! We are the Skulls! I can't do a death metal voice. I can do, I mean, black metal voice. I was trying to do a, yeah, I really can't do a black metal screech. Death metal I can do. I uh, don't have enough practice to do a good black metal screech. Alright, so Genevieve tells us, uh, my parents, my patients, not parents, have been coming in from all over King's Row, and their stories of where they got their superiority are, are almost never the same. The police are certain that the Skulls are just moving their deal around, but I think it's a combination of that and a number of drug, different drug pushers setting up shop. One of my patients is at one of these drug dens today. He gave me the address. So she gives a piece of address. I've already informed the PPD. Uh, but I doubt they'll chuck it out anytime soon. I'm afraid that the skulls have packed up and left by then. Hema girl, if we don't s start shutting these places down quickly, then there will be even more people addicted to superiority than the hospital can handle. He means we'll have a field day if they see addicts light up the sidewalk outside. I mean, your friend's a reporter, so I'm pretty sure she can help with that. But let's go shut down that den anyway. Well, these guys are asking a girl if she wants to make money. Hell no, we're not going to deal with that. I don't think I've seen this kind of skull before. It's supposed to be uh, new to homecoming, but I've never seen a death walk. Yeah, these guys sound new, because death dolls are also new. Alright, let's do a quick rest.
As a reminder, um, I also upload these onto YouTube, uh, same name as here on Twitch. And uh, also later tonight I'm going to be uh, doing some pinball with the Pinball FX3. Alright, the place is pretty quiet. Maybe this calls have been the place. They have, they have left goose. And uh, I'll be doing sporadically Mountain Blade as well, Mountain Blade 2. Uh, mostly while I'm playing other stuff off stream. Huh. So we've got a skull. We've got a parodying den, but there's no sign of the skulls. That's weird. Let's see if they've written it down here on this whiteboard. Hmm. Well, they did try to uh, cover their tracks. Like they were putting sails there, but some of the fig figures were there. Let's see what else we can find. something. Oh, it was an ambush. sideways. The sights are on the top, okay? The sights are on the top. I remember being a tough fight. Let's do this. Don't send me to the dark one. They're running away now that I beat them. Yeah, you better run. I won't be able to actually attack him.
Huh, in the dashboard it has a uh, thumbnail for the Going Rogue expansion and not City of Heroes itself. But on the chat, on the actual channel window, it should be the normal. Hmm, interesting. Uh, sorry, I got <laughs> distracted. That, that's interesting to me, though. Okay, so I'll talk to Genevieve. I don't have her number. Hammer girl, what happened? The skulls knew you were coming, but how? Oh, no, no, no. You don't think that I did this? No, no, no. Someone at the hospital must be. Someone else at the hospital must be feeding the skulls information. But why would anyone here want to help them? I'll be more careful about who I talk to about this. All right. Oh, and we find out from Shauna that her source has gone missing. Her name is Emily Rodriguez. According to her relative, she didn't show up to work today. I talked to Emily's cousin, and he said he's certain the skulls kidnapped her. He says the cops won't do anything about a missing case persons for 24 hours unless there's evidence of wrongdoing, and they just don't have evidence. I told him that you could help. All right, where do we start looking? There's a beat cop, uh, name of Vic Johansson. He knows the gish like the back of his hand. Tell him I sent you a deal to drop everything to help you find Emily. The skulls are ruthless killers. I don't know how long Emily has. So we'll be working with Vic Johansson in the future. And Vic says, hey, not too close, okay? You're all good in my book, but I don't need any other reason for these skulls to be on me for some sort of initiation or kill or badge of honor. I got a wife and kids. I got you, but look, were you, you're, least, I'm told you're one of the good guys. Is that true? Or are you full of sh or was she full of it? Oh, Sean has sent you? Okay, look. Yeah, I'm your man, what's up? So, I'm gonna fill that kind of situation. Yeah, skulls kidnapped uh, this woman in. Uh, that's bad. I don't know what the skulls are planning. We're on the street as the skulls have got some sort of indoctrination ceremonies going on tonight. Uh, we don't have the clues or the manpester to go hunting for it. And he puts his hands on to his bad, traces the star. And he looks down, like, confused at why he's doing that, and then he looks at us. Well... Emily can't wait for us to get better information. My shift is about over. We're gonna hit the streets, find her together. Let's do this. All right, I'm gonna take a sip. One, two, three. So after a few hours of, hours of patrolling, we found some skulls. Uh, we followed some skulls. I'm sorry. To a, an abandoned King's Garment Works uh, warehouse on the west side of town. So Vic's outside, and we're going in. Oh, meanwhile, inside the abandoned King's Garden works. Misery, finish it here without me. Ship it around for thee, I must go. Yes, Jerry Bart, but what is better? As a lord of death, you, get alone, you alone can choose the first step to begin to my ceremony. Kill go first. Show to recruit what happens if they took the wrong people. My pleasure. <laughs> and now, we save the day.
Now this is a hard fight. Here's misery. Hey, Misery, I hope you like company. Applause for Hemer Girl. Yep. Hemer Girl sank that putt at the ninth hole pretty well. Okay. It's funny. Earlier when I'm looking at the uh, the dashboard that they have for you, the, the stream manager dashboard, when I first started... It says the bitrate was unstable, now it says excellent, and it really hasn't changed. So it's like, what are you talking about? <clears throat> but uh, yeah, this, this uh, manager is pretty neat, I should be using this more often. I started using it because um, Mountain Blade, when I was doing it the old way I was doing, which I, I had a video that you guys are watching. Um, on my second monitor at the same time. But now I have this stream manager and set it and it looks so much better. But the reason why I did that is because doing that with was uh, I guess using too much processing power. I have a really tough rig, so I don't know why it was using that much more power, but go figure. Okay, so Sean says, "Oh, thank the stars, Emily is live well." I heard Juan Jimenez got himself mixed up with this well. I guess in hindsight, that's a good thing. Turns out he's got a picture of the skull's leader pocketed his memory card before they trashed his camera. Juan sent me a copy of the picture, and trust me, this is big news. Have we talked to Juan Jimenez before? Let me check my Rolodex. Just try to remember that name sounds familiar, but I don't know if it's from this playthrough. Nope. Okay, so that guy Juan set the photo of. He's one of the Lords of Death, Chernobyl. I looked his name up online, and apparently, uh, name of a Slavic god of darkness or something. Real cheery. Anyway, so according to uh, Emily and Juan, Chernobyl left right before you arrived because the shipment that we've been here about has been coming early. So, uh, humor girl, this shipment is a truckload of severity. I guess on the streets, King's Row will be flooded with this stuff. If only we knew where this shipment was delivered to, we could put a stop to this. Uh, we're so close to stopping the shipment and taking out some of their leaders. Hmm. Well, I'm not from King's Row. But I've worked here before. And I've heard, always heard that Anderson Construction is where a lot of shady deals go down. Anderson Construction. Ah, that's why all those workers were rounded up by the skulls to be killed in their ceremony. They all worked at Anderson Construction. Them missing that warehouse would be empty during their delivery. Let's do this. Yeah, that makes total sense. We got to hurry and bust head delivery before it's too late. With that's a parody in the streets. There'll be no way to stop it. And uh, that place is going to be crawling with skulls. So, she recommends help, but we're badass, so we're not going to do that. Worst case scenario, I'll turn the level down, but I don't think I'll need to. So, 
Skull didn't leave a perimeter guard. Lucky for you, bad for them. Uh, st stay alert! He were gross to looking for us! Found ya! Looks like we're definitely at the right place. Ah. So, in case you're wondering why Googly Burger, my mascot, is on the is over the uh, chat window, let me see if that's still going on. Yeah, that's still going on. Uh, just in case you're wondering why that is. Sometimes uh, the general chat gets a little drama dramatic, and uh, it's getting dramatic here. Sometimes it gets a little too spicy for streaming, because uh, Homecoming, the uh, server group that I use, does have work for streaming, so it's, I don't want it to get too spicy in there. And while it hasn't got that spicy yet, it's there, so it's more of a precaution. And you know, if someone like sends me a tell that I don't want to. Show everybody. Really good community, but there can be drama sometimes, even in the best communities. As I said, uh, I also do <clears throat> I also do a pinball stream later tonight, usually around 10 Eastern. Well, here we go. Keep moving those containers. We have a girl all night. The night is our shadow. Keep my girl. 
Miyako! My brother, he tells me not to hunt you. He tells me killing you will be bad for business. That it is the right time. Maybe that's true. Maybe. Unfortunately, for you. Never heard a group hold for business. Well, you know it's gonna be on your mind, Chernoborg. My sword. Yeah. Chernobog, not Chernoborg. Oh yeah, I'm doing great actually. I thought this would be a lot harder. Wow. So yeah, I just slowed the uh, lead boss. Yeah, that's pretty good. And he was red. I'm actually surprised. Maybe I should uh, start a level up. But uh, just for fun, let's look up a Chernobog in mythology. Okay, so... Hmm. So according to Wikipedia, uh, Chernobog... Reconstructed uh, from the words Black God. is a god of uh, bad fate, so I guess like catastrophe. Worshipped by the Palabian Slavs. Uh, scholars debate if there was a cult uh, dedicated to him. But he was a very popular Slavic god. And he has a counterpart, Bellobog. So, uh, basically, an, basically an evil god, a Lucifer figure, basically. Well, Lucifer, as in the Christian depiction of him, really. Satan, you know that that was a uh, corruption of pagan gods that weren't in the pagan religions considered evil, but you know that's neither here nor there. No, I would I would say that's more like Baphomet than Lucifer. Lucifer was just plain evil. And I think Lucifer. It's been a long time since I've actually looked into that kind of stuff. Okay, so. So yeah, uh, Chernobog. Um, an ancient Slavic bad, bad fate god. So disaster god, I guess you could call him that. All right, we stopped the severity in the shipment and the rest of the Lords of Death. Hema girl, I don't know how I or anyone else in King's Row could ever thank you. I mean, the Skulls are going to be looking for payback against you. I don't know if I could ever live low and I was being haunted. Well, I guess that's why you're a hero. Hey, I got an email from a guy who claims to be Eagle Eye. Uh, he's part of the Regulators, super group that really cracked down on drugs during the 80s. Anyway, he said he wanted to meet you, so I told him to put you two in contact with each other if you're cool with that. Alright, so... We've been introduced to Eagle Eye. But we're not going to talk to him yet. We're going to talk to, uh... Vic Johansson. Who uh, helped us crack this case. Oh. Okay, there. 
they're not gonna pursue me. That was some clockwork. I don't have time for the clockwork right now. You robots controlled by a robot with a unhealthy obsession with a 14 year old girl. That wasn't a joke, by the way. That's spoiler, uh, spoilers on it, but it's kind of weird. <laughs> it's kind of messed up. Alright, uh... I don't normally do this, but um, I'm going to take a second. Uh, I'm going to step outside a bit. Um, take care of something real quick. I'm going to come right back, okay? So just uh, give me... This is going to kind of like be a little stretch break. Give me a couple minutes. I'll be right back. So, let's talk to Vic. So, let's find out more about Vic, actually. The city needs heroes, and Vic games to help him any way he can. But let's learn more. So, Vic Johansson grew up in one of Paragon City's poor neighborhoods. The son of a shopkeeper and a bus driver. After a few years in boring office jobs, he joined the police force. He has since become a distinguished op officer, although promotions have been few and far between. Vic knows full well as the heroes, not the cop, who ends up fighting most of the crime in Paragon City. This comfort with that fact may explain why he hasn't moved up in the ranks with Most cops have an inferiority complex about costume crime fighters, and they like to solve cases without him. Vic, on the other hand, is famously friendly with the superpower crowd. He's also a firm believer in neighborhood-based policing, and he keeps heroes apprised of the latest signs of evil on his beat. So he's kind of a... 
well, the way cop, the way a cop should be. Uh, don't want to get political here, but he's kind of like what a cop should be. Okay, so. Uh, so we're always going to take the top version of any of any uh, mission choice. So the doctor is over at Chiron Medical Center since the date on the mysterious lost. We can find out what's happened to these homeless people. We may be able to help them. Maybe you hit the streets and defeat a few lost. Take some blood samples, bring the data back to me. Okay. So we're not group specific here. So Field Report say King's Row inside Perez Park. See, I don't remember ever seeing him in the first part. Let's see if we can use the radio to help us out here. So, thorns, grease ball. Sounds like probably clockwork. tend to be underground here. I think there's some lost down here. Yep, there's some lost. And some skulls to pop into, no problem. Oh, there's a troll. But we're not going to deal with the trolls right now. They're way too high level for me to fight anyway, so... Oh well. Let's see if I... Let's see what's down here. more lost to fight. Maybe they've respawned here yet. Oh, I didn't take out the whole mob.
they have respawned there yet. Nope. Where's another place they hang out? Slums and under overpasses. Let's, uh... Okay. Hellions, Rachnos, Clockwork. Keep trying to get a mission from the police radio. Let's see if I can. Millions. Fizen. That's either that's either Circle of Thorns. Or the lost. Let's hope it's the lost. Well, oh, there's one. There's some more. We're not going to need that uh, mission. So we can just abandon it. And those are all randomly generated, so I'm not missing out on any content by not taking it. Back to Vic. <laughs> Thanks, you, my girl. I hope your efforts have brought us closer to solving this mystery once and for all. I'm starting to believe you truly are one of the good ones, right? This apartment may have. Made some new equipment available for me. Call me if there's anything you need. Hmm. Well, let me sell some stuff to you. Anyway. Okay.
So more lost in King's Row. Okay, I guess we're gonna fight some more King's Row. Uh, lost. Crown Memorial and the Gish. I know we've seen him in the Gish, just where? <laughs> they also said near Crown Memorial, so maybe I should try near there. I'm near there. Oh! There's some.
fuck. Got some loss. Let's take let's take a call the Vic. The lost filing seems to have no rhyme or reason, but I suspect there's a greater plan in the works here. There is. You've exceeded my hopes, Hebrew girl. You'll need the best enhancements if you're going to keep up the pace. All right. So, a lot of homeless people. Ah, uh, hold on. I turned off, took up my glasses to wipe them out real quick. Okay. I've gone missing from a local shelter. An eyewitness reported seeing some of them dragged to the sewers. Please find the missing homeless people. If we're lucky, we can still save them. Get those people people out safely, he my girl. a bedraggled man into the sewers. Let's hope he got led us to the right place. Wanna, wanna make sure all these hostages get out safely so they're gonna fall. He's gonna follow us. This is the guy in charge.
that guy. Missed one on my way up here, so let's uh, go find them. Maybe they're up here. No, nope, guess not. There we go. There's our last home. Let's get these folks out of here. Where are you, buddy? Did they just walk back to the... I guess he didn't join me the first time. Okay, and... There we go. Rescuing those people. You need to find out who brought an arrow for, for what purpose. I know why, but uh, you have no more missions for me. So. Let's see who else we have here. Let me check the homecoming wiki real quick.
me take a look at these uh, level ranges. Paula Dempsey. Her neighborhood is five. Her range is five nine. Okay. All right, so her le level range is 5'9", same as ours, so we're going to go with her for now. <laughs> we're going to do one, maybe two of her missions before we call it a day here. Call it a stream, rather. You look like a likely candidate. Let's see if you manage from. Uh, for what? Paul Dempsey is a mechanic and inventor. Paul Dempsey moved to Paragon City as a child, where her parents were killed by an invading space armada in the late 60s. Huh. Never. Invading Space Armada in the late 60s. I don't... I've never heard of that before. Uh, let's see if it's in the uh, wiki. Mm, it's not mentioned here. But, let's see. Timeline. See if I can figure out what exactly canon. Okay, canon timeline. So the sixties. Uh huh. <sighs> Trying to see if I can figure out what exactly the problem was. Okay, so that's not actually, um, hmm. So that's not actually something that's uh, known in the storyline of the lore. Interesting. So I'm going to put a pin on that. So that's that there's there's nothing in the lore that I can think of that actually uh, mentions that that uh, alien invasion. So she grew up with her grandfather, a famous mechanic who did a lot more than fix cars. Paul's grandfather maintained the fabulous weapons and equipment used by a hero named Gage Steel. And Paul grew up hearing about the stories of their adventures. With a role model like that, there's never any question as to where her career path lay. She not only fixes things, she invents them. And she's got a wealth of contacts and the exit source of new heroes for over a decade. Clockwork up are becoming the clockwork are becoming a real palm in King's Row. Those little metal menaces are taking street lamps, zero grades, anything else they can get their mitts on. I need to discourage the clockwork from scavenging King's Row. Otherwise the whole zone is gonna turn into a death trap. Alright. So yeah, clockwork are pretty easy to find. In fact, there's some right up there. So I'm pretty sure we discussed this in an earlier stream. And I mentioned this earlier in the stream. The clockwork... The clockwork are robots that do the bidding of the clockwork team. Who is a robot who I don't remember exactly may or may not be psychic. May or may not be a psychic robot. Don't try to think about that too hard. 
that has an affection with a uh, teenage with a psychic girl, um, Penelope Yin, who is at some at, at one point in the story she was 14 years old, and his obsession with her was uh, Chris Hansen style creepy. this building you can get your locks, you can get your beds, and you can get your guy carrying burgers. You can get it all there. That was a quick match, so I think you can do one more. Excuse me. King Charles is a lot safer now thanks to you. You definitely got my attention, sport. Let's be friends. I was rummaging around the shop yesterday and came across some interesting enhancements. I'd be happy if you can use them. If there's anything I can help provide you, please call. Hold that thought. So let me just, uh... Not the gear I want. Alright, so, we've got a reports of some clockwork down at the old abandoned Cas Castaneda Export Warehouse Conference. Sources say they begins to get as a staging area for a mess of attack against the city, Hema girl. We've never heard, heard of the clockwork trying to get anything this small. It's absolutely imperative that you go to a Castaneda Export and shut down the clockwork part. Clockwork plot. And there's a big one called Socket in there. Why would they have regular names? Whatever. So we're gonna watch out for it. We're gonna probably fight it. Highly successful company, but there's no evidence of its former glory. I mean, there's some evidence. Sorry, I got a niche.
There's a big robot named Rocket. Okay. Calm down, Gobbot. Oh, we found a book. It's the Diary of the Clockwork King. In one section, he writes, He reminds me so much of the vigilante who destroyed my body and left me this metal shell. I must eliminate that new threat. Okay. Kinda weird, my dude. So, we're going to call it here. Before we go, though, we're going to do, as our usual, our random str random uh, haiku of the stream. So we just fire that up for you. And here we go. Covered, even tied. Why a pale... Uh, sorry. Why a heavy, pale pot hides. Watching the girlfriend. All right. So again, uh, the YouTube is also October Raven. I do upload uh, these streams up there. Once again, uh, within the next uh, 30, about 25 minutes from now, I'll be uh, doing uh, Pinball FX, so I'll be streaming some Pinball. And I also sporadically do some uh, Matt and Blade while I'm uh, playing other stuff off stream. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, I oh I also uh, played um, Shenmue 2 on this stream uh, to co to completion. That's also available on YouTube, as well as a brief uh, quick review I did on YouTube. Uh, not as good as Shenmue 1, just my opinion. But uh, that's about it. So uh, thank you very much, uh, and uh, th hello again to Tron 1989 for uh, giving this that, that a follow. And uh, see you soon. Bye.